Right, hi guys. Um, I was trying to do something the other day on the internet and I needed a timer for it. Uh, so I went looking and I found one for £12, well $12 which is what, £6? And I thought, why, why am I buying this? Why don't I just make it myself? So I spent the uh, next, next few hours making this program. Admittedly it would have been quicker and probably cheaper man hour wise to uh, buy it. But I've made it. And uh, to save you lot all being scammed out of your money, um, I'm going to show you how to create this program as well. Um, not just for that, it's also going to teach you about timers, uh, list combo boxes, uh, how to clear combo boxes, uh, making timers work with each other, changing different variables so they work when you press a certain button. I think this is probably the most complex program I've taught you how to create. Um, so yeah, um, all I, what this does at the moment, <coughs> uh, we've got the three here, hours, minutes, seconds. We could have put a milliseconds in if we really wanted it. In fact, I might do, I might actually add that as a sports timer sport edition. Ooh. But anyway, this is all going to be open source and I'm going to put it on um, probably Softpedia or um, I'll create a download or mega upload or something like that. I, you can get your hands on this, it's fine. And I'll put the source code up there as well. In fact, I'm going to teach you how to use the source code, so it's fine. But here's what I'm going to, here's what, here's what, how it works. So we've got the three here. We press the start button, and that changes to running, so we now know it's working, and as you can see, the timer is clicking up. Dock. Dock. Now what happens is when this will reach 60, it'll then change that up to 1 minute, and it'll go all the way through, and, and then when that reaches 60, it'll also revert back to 0. So it's a proper stopwatch, it doesn't go on forever. However, the hour, I haven't put a stop on the hour, so it could go, you could run forever. I, I haven't put a stop on it, although eventually you get the numbers coming out here, they wouldn't resize the box. But this is quite cool, this is something I'm quite proud about. Uh, we can now split, so uh, if you've ever done track or anything, you'll know that um, it's quite important to know what kind of track times you're doing. So imagine you're sitting, uh, watching some, you've got this, you're, doing, you're an athlete, you want to know how much your lap was, you click split, and we can see that the first lap was 47 seconds. Now obviously, if you were, do if you were an athlete, you'd want milliseconds to know exactly how you're doing it. So I, I'll, I'll think I'll add that when I, you know, show you how to do it. But here we go. Look, one. There you go. Sixty. One. There you go. Back to the beginning. Um, we can clear the split like that. And this is something that's quite cool. It, first of all, let's go pause. So we now click continue. And it's running. Pause. Continue. Also restart button. Stops everything. This is something I'm quite proud about. Is the alarm button. This took me forever to work out how to do it. Press the alarm button. And here we've got the seconds, minutes, and hours. And if we say after 10 seconds we want the alarm to go off, we click the set button. This will then count up. Now, the reason this took me such a long time was because it's not what you think, and I'll show you how to do it, but it took me a while to get my head around it. So here we go. So we get a little, I don't know if you heard that, I got my headphones in. But we get a little noise, the box pops up saying alarm, the timers will stop, we click OK, it restarts, everything comes back to the beginning. Hallelujah. Right, so that's, uh, that's that. Um, it's also got an icon at the top. Uh, I'll show you how to put that in. Um, I'm also creating a second form for it, so it will have a menu at the beginning saying, "Do you want the timer or the countdown timer?" Um, and what the countdown timer looks like, I haven't got it open at the moment, but it's like this. But you can select what you want in each one. You press the start button, it counts down. When it gets to zero, the uh, alarm pops up. Pretty much the same, but just slightly different. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to create this to save you twelve dollars from this bloke up here. Um, not that I ever showed you that, uh, but yeah, I think this not only demonstrates lots of different aspects of programming, also it teaches you that you do not have to spend money on simple programs like that anymore. You can make them yourself, they work just as well, in fact you're using exactly the same um, procedures as they are, they're just selling it for more money because they've got a professional website. So um, I'll put this video up, um, I'll also, I've also recorded the timer tutorial for it. Um, so yeah, this is the new C.